Hi, I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Your tool belt or your tool apron uh, has to fit the project that you're working on. Uh, I'll show you the difference between the two so you can make a good decision on what you need to get. Let's get to work. Now this, this leather tool belt here is pretty much considered typical carpenter's work belt. Uh, as you see, it has two large pouches for many 16s and 8s, and it has some smaller ones for some smaller nails and maybe some smaller tools. Uh, relatively small amount of, of tool space available. Hammer is right at the level of your fingertips for quick and easy access to, to your hammer, so you can quickly pull it out and quickly put it back. But this type of apron, although it is great for exterior framing or even you know, framing a basement or a deck or projects like that. It's not really very appropriate for interior trim work uh, or working with cabinetry. Uh, I'll show you your other option for interior trim. Now for interior trim work or cabinetry work, I highly recommend you consider picking up a shop apron. Now what this does is it has several different pouches for many, many small tools, scribes, lots of pencils. As you see, there's nothing metal that's around this center section. I know my hammer's here, but it, it's not made. And see how much higher this hammer is held than the other one? The other one was right down here at my fingertips. This one's up here much higher. It's not made to, for quick in and out. It's made for basically slow access. Uh, you don't really need that much speed when you're doing interior trim work. Uh, what this does is this protects the, the material that you're working on. If this were cabinetry and you're leaning against it, uh, you don't have anything metal or anything protruding out. Also, as you're negotiating your way through people's houses where they have furniture, chairs, tables, things like that that you have to be careful with, it keeps everything much tighter into you and, and out in the front and carries it all a lot higher. Uh, also, another feature about this is just like Grandpa's suspenders, you have a nice little cross here in the back where all the weight is carried up here on your shoulders whereas the other leather pouch has a tendency to pull down your britches in the back, showing that lovely plumber's thing that we all like to see. Uh, so when you're buying your tool pouch in the future, consider what you're going to be doing with it. Uh, if you're going to be planning on doing a lot of interior work, a lot more custom work, go ahead and get you one like this. If you're going to be doing a lot of framing, decks, things like that, go ahead and get you a leather typical carpenter's pouch. Or if you plan on doing both, I recommend you get both. I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video. Uh, and then go ahead back to our home channel. We have many other videos there. Check us out. Thanks.